and action! Welcome to the channel, I am the King Koopa, and today I'm going to be giving you two different tools to help you with your road rage. <laughs> totally kidding, road rage is bad, but I am going to be showing you two different methods to get all the lights on the front of your vehicle to turn on with the 6 high mod and the 8 high mod. What I mean by this 6 high mod is having your low beams, high beams, and fog lights on all at the same time. You can even do an 8 high mod to have the DRLs, the daytime running lights on as well. Option number one is a fleece performance engineering motherboard. This is a plug and play. You're just gonna pull some relays out, throw this bad boy in there, throw the relays back on top, and you are ready to go. The downside to this is it's usually about 25 bucks for this little motherboard. Option number two is diodes. You can pick these up super cheap and we are gonna be assembling them together into a little wiring harness with some solder and heat shrink. This is the more DIY and balling on a budget route that you can choose. I am going to show you how to set that little harness up and if you're wondering what a diode is, a diode is basically an electronic check valve. So a check valve only allows fluid to flow one direction. This is the same for a diode, it's electricity, so it only allows electricity to flow one direction. You may be wondering why I'm doing this modification. That is because traditionally on the GM platform, when you turn your high beams on, your low beams will turn off. If you are running your low beams, you can have your fog lights on, but as soon as you turn your high beams on, your fog lights will turn off. So we're going to fix that right now. One reason I do call this my work truck is because it is literally a work truck model. It's a base model. My truck did not come with fog lights from the factory, but I did wire in a 32 inch light bar behind the grill through the factory fog light harness where I added the relay, added the switch inside the dash, and now that light bar acts just like if I were to have fog lights from the factory. Let's give her a quick peek. If you are wanting to add fog lights to your work truck or base model truck, I do have another video on my channel about doing that. First thing we're going to do to get started is pop the hood. Next we're going to locate our fuse box, remove the cover. These are the four relays we're going to be working with right here. We have our fog lights, our low beam, our daytime running light, and our high beam relays. So we're going to get these four pulled. Now we can set our fleece motherboard down inside there. Nice tight and snug fit. Now we can put our relays back in. Just like that, nice factory fitment. Put our cover back on and we're done. That was a super easy install. It honestly took me longer to set up the camera than it did to install the fleece motherboard. So uh, let's check her out. For the operation, we have our low beams on right now. If we wanted to, we can turn our fog light on. And if we really wanted all of the lights on at once, we will turn our brights on. That will turn all three, our lows, highs, and fog lights on all at once. If we were doing our 8 high mod, we would have our three diodes here twisted together, and these would have three separate wires coming off the ends, but we're going to be doing a 6 high mod, so we only need two diodes. So we're going to twist these together on the butt ends with the negatives together. We will bend the ends with hooks, and now we can attach our wire lead and solder them together. Now we can apply some heat shrink. We'll attach our next two wire leads, solder, and add heat shrink. Then we added one more heat shrink over the top of the diodes, and we're finished, and we can always trim this to fit. For the diode 6 high mod, we have our harness here. We have all of our relays pulled off to the side. We're going to stick the negative end of our diodes and do pin 85 of the high beam relay. If you were doing the 8 high mod with the daytime running lights, you would have had to have soldered one extra diode on here and you would run that wire and do pin 85 of the daytime running light relay. Next will be our low beam. We are going to be running that to pin 85. 
And last but not least, we are going to be running the last wire to pin 86 on the fog light relay. And just like that, we're all finished. We have this little spider here. Um, we probably could have routed it just a little bit cleaner, but it is a cheaper option to the $25 fleece motherboard. And that's a wrap. And just like that, we are all done. This was a super easy modification and was a huge improvement for 25 bucks and under, depending on which version you did, it was definitely worth the cost. Yes, this modification has been around for quite a while, but some of you guys might not have seen it yet. So I figured I'd make my own little spin off of it because I have watched a few videos online. Some of them weren't that great or very detailed. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Let me know if there's anything I can improve on. And if you do have any tips regarding this modification, make sure you put them in the comments below. As always, I appreciate all your guys' support. Thank you so much for all the subs. We're coming up on 5,000 subs here soon. So that is amazing, personal goal of mine. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you turn the post notifications on and I will catch you in next week's video. Hope you guys are having a good one. Peace.